All right, you guys. So, we have a really cool piece of mail from my man, my brother from another mother, Jeff Mackenzie, Mr. A.K.A. Tight White. Uh, I'm not going to show you the front. Don't want you sending him any hate mail. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, so uh, I actually uh, asked him if I could trade him. I saw this in one of his latest videos. It's been a couple videos ago now, I guess. Um, but... Anyway, I have the first entry into this series. He has at least three entries into the series, um, including the most expensive one, which uh, we'll get to that in a second. But, uh, yeah, but because I gifted him with uh, Knights into Dreams um, on the Sega Saturn, he uh, he looked back out for me this time with this, so... Uh, Thank you so much, Jeff. This is uh, this is gonna be really cool. So we're, I want to open it up with you guys right here. Hopefully that's enough there to trim it out. All right, there we go. Cool. It's nice and tight in this bubble mailer. Oh, you can kind of see it there. Yeah, there you go. It was one of his half price books pickups, guys. Uh, dot hack mutation I have infection it's up there somewhere but I uh, did not have this one and uh, and he said he had already had this one and of course if you watch his channel he has dot hack quarantine which is the fourth installment this is just part two but he has part four which is like a hundred and fifty two hundred dollar game so anyway um, yeah really cool to add this to the collection guys I'm so excited about that Here's the back artwork. Still have not played uh, Infection yet. It is a series that I think I might be very much into. Um, Alright, so it came with the manual there. Make sure my... There you go. Huh. Apparently it was at Babbage's for $24.99. <laughs> You can see the receipt there. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and then it has... I guess that's the play disc. And then... Uh, DVD disc there. So... Super excited to add this to the collection. Uh, thank you again so much, Mr. Tight White. I am very happy about this. Add this to the PS2 collection. Hopefully I'll be able to add the other what five entries in this the series anyway all right
I just walked out of there with Ogre Battle. Hey guys, welcome to the pickups portion of the video. Uh, it has been a little, a couple of weeks, well, a few weeks since I actually put a video together. I've um, just been busy. Um, I just went back to uh, college, taking some college courses, well, two, for, to renew my teaching license, and uh, been doing the work for the video game company and a lot of other stuff, so... I've had a pretty full plate, and uh, also just haven't had a lot of money to go out and spend. But um, as you can see, I picked up a few things, and then I stopped, and then I picked up a few more things. But uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right. So this was back. Oh man, like three three weeks ago. It was back May nineteenth or something. So here we go. Um, I was going through these DVDs and stuff at one of the Goodwills and found this at the bottom. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And it's complete. Uh, yeah, so... I can't believe this is only like worth like eight or nine bucks now. Um, but really awesome game. I love Twilight Princess. Still need the one for the GameCube. And um, I'm getting close to my 250 subscriber contest. I may be putting uh, this in that package, so we'll see. So that was a Thursday, and this I picked this up Friday. A little more than what I usually pay for games, but um, it's worth like 30 I believe. Uh, for $6.25 paid um, for Star Trek Legacy, which is cool. It's made by Bethesda, so love their content. So uh, I'd be willing to try this out. love the Star Trek universe also, so don't know how good it is or whatnot, but um wanna give it a shot. Uh I rounded the change and it was seven bucks, so for one game it's kinda high, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I also picked up two copies of this, but I recently traded away for some my more recent pickups that I'll show you at the end, the headlining games here. But um picked up two copies of Forza Motorsports for four dollars and twenty five cents. This is the fourth one don't have it yet and neither one of them have an actual manual I guess that's an online manual which I hate but anyway there you go so I guess you call this complete I don't know. Uh, Thursday this was the following week after that um, this was so week two picked up a couple dollar games um, I already have this for the Xbox but I uh, picked up for 99 cents your self fitness and that's complete. Probably not going to play it, um, but it has a little bit of value. And then we have uh, Blinks 2, Masters of Time and Space. Now, I saw this at that very same Goodwill where I picked up that Forza game and that Star Trek game, and they had for 4 25 I'm like, not happening. 
And then a couple weeks later, a week or two later, here he is for 99 cents. So, not too bad. Though, I want to get the first one. I think the first one was better than the second one. Then I have a couple of uh, pretty cool um, NES games. Same Goodwill. First up, and they all have sleeves, which is great. We got, uh, well, with a sleeve, Shadowgate for $4.99. Uh, don't have this, so I'll be adding that to the collection. Saw it at second and charge for a little bit more, but five bucks. I said, why not? And then these actually came with the manuals, which is really cool. I don't know anything about this. I don't know if it got the really good reviews, but we got Snoopy's uh, Silly Sports Spectacular. Uh, really clean games, guys. Uh, and really clean, crisp manuals, too. Uh, Black and white manual, but yeah, that's cool. Love it. And then I'm surprised I don't have this in the collection yet. I am su not not surprised that I don't have the second one yet. Anyway, but who does? Uh, for $14.99, I picked up a copy of Bubble Bobble. Um, really nice and clean, and again, came with the nice color manual here. I think it's color inside. Oh, well, maybe it's just black and white inside, but still, cool stuff. So, for all those, that was $28.38. Alright. Went yard sailing, actually, um, with my girlfriend. Did not find any games, unfortunately. I did find a PS2. I didn't ask the guy how much it was. I asked for if they had any games, because I, mean, I might have been able to pick up the PS2, for, but I didn't have a lot of money on me. But he did have... Uh, some Blu-ray DVDs for two bucks a piece, and I went ahead and got them. Um, first up, we got Man of Steel, Thor: The Dark World, and one of my favorites here, Tron Legacy. I, anytime this comes on the television, I just cannot pull away. Love Tron. So this was that Friday. All right, I'm going to show you what I found second at the second good. They're the the only Goodwill I visited. Um, for two dollars and twenty-five cents, I saw this sitting out, and I'm like, I can't believe it's. You know, I've never found any Gundam games out in the wild. And there you go, Mobile Suit Gundam Federation versus Zeon. Uh, for two dollars and twenty-five cents, it's a little bit uh, I guess the artwork's a little bit water damaged. It's a little ripply, but uh, it is complete, and the inside, you know, the disc and everything looks great. So pretty cool. Um, never played any of the Gundam games. I remember watching Gun I didn't, I wasn't real big into the show, but I've, I watched a few episodes with my friend and I really enjoyed it, so. Almost forgot to include uh, that, that Goodwill where I picked up the Gundam game. I also picked up this black Wiimote um, for $3.25. I'm really showing up there. There it is, three twenty-five. Even though it says two twenty-five on the side, I wish I had paid closer attention to that. But anyway, what? It's it's a black Wii mode, so don't have, don't own one of those yet. Okay, so at Second and Charles, um, I picked up two games, and uh, for five dollars fifty cents, but I got it reduced to four forty with a teacher discount. You got Orcs and Elves for the DS. Apparently, it's like a kind of a first-person kind of dungeon delving uh, RPG kind of deal. Um, pretty cool, and I actually got pretty good reviews. So I look forward to popping this in and trying it out. But that is complete. And here's a first of uh, a heavy hitter that uh, I, I got in, in over the span of the last month here. Um, how it happened was friend of mine, or one of the friends I've made over at Second and Charles, well, he put aside a few RPGs, PlayStation 1 RPGs, for himself, but he didn't think he could afford all of them, and uh, I was talking to him, and he said, hey man, would you like to check these out? Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy all of them. He had so weekend in 2, which is, uh, he's, I asked him today if he has bought it yet. He has not bought it yet, but he's still holding on to it. I said, you, if, of all of them, you need to buy that one. He had like Front Mission 2 or 3 or something like that, and I think Legend of Mana or something like that, but what, didn't have the manual. Good games. Uh, I couldn't afford much either, so 
of the ones that were there. I already had so weekend, so didn't want to jump on that. I already had that one. But uh for thirty four ninety five, actually it was actually twenty seven ninety six when it was all done. We got Ogre Battle for the original PlayStation. Uh has a crack in the case and no manual. But um it does have the disc. Let's see. It's not too bad. Got some very light, fine scratches, as a lot of these do. Love that title right there, or that um, company, Atlas. Very cool. So, awesome pickup on that. I think that was a good deal for 27 bucks. I think it goes for usually about double that price, so not bad. Um, yeah, and I love my strategy RPG, so cannot wait to try that one out. So then on week three, uh, I picked up the following two DS games. Uh, I went one day and I hid one of them and I, and I found this other one. First one I found, um, that was Rayman DS. Uh, that is complete. Paid $5.40 for Rayman. And then, uh, this was the one I came back and uh, from hiding, Okami Den. Um, still don't own Okami for Wii or PS2, but anyway, um, so this is my first Okami game. Uh, that is complete. Um, I'll try to track down the one for the PS2. Uh, I just that's that's the system I really want it for, but I may end up getting it on the the Wii. But anyway, I paid eleven dollars. Um, with the uh, teacher discount for Okami Den. Okay, then uh, today, 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 um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna show off some free stuff, and then I'll show you the stuff that I bought. Um, I went outside randomly, just looking through, and they had some cool PC games. Uh, some of which I'm not gonna show all everything, but they had like some Pac-Man games. For the PC, Mrs. Pac-Man, all that kind of stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, Harry Potter. Some of these things I might try to sell. That's why I went ahead and just dived, dove in on them. But some of them I'll probably keep. Had uh, Age of Empires, I guess the original. And uh, this one was cool. King's Quest VI. So, love my RPGs. Can't, you know, I might actually try that one if I can play it. Um, oh, got some... Sim, Sim games, Sim Park Party, no Sim Park, excuse me, Sim Safari, Sim City, Streets of Sim City, Sim Isle. Oh, you can't see them, but anyway. So some loose Sim simulation type games. Here's some more, even some Barbie games in there. Sometimes they sell, so that's why I picked them up and just grabbed them. If they were a game, I picked them up and grabbed them. Um, all in the free bin. But here are some that uh, more or less stood out a little better. Um, I got Madden 94 for the, or 95, excuse me, for the Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't have this. I don't really play sports, too many sports games, but it's a Super Nintendo game for free. So, why not? Um, also picked up a copy of Frogger. I already, I think I already have this one. Anyway, but, um, cool thing is it had a uh, Kill Zone for the PlayStation 2 in there as well as Frogger. So, and they're really, both really clean. So that's nice, two for one deal. Got a Sega Dreamcast web browser. I'm not going to use that really, but and actually, uh, I don't care if it's a motorcycle game. I mean, I like racing games, so I'll try it. But it's a Jeremy Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000 for the Sega Dreamcast. Free, a, a Dreamcast game for free is just like <sighs> blows my mind. Even though it is a, it's not like one of the ones everybody chases after. But anyway, I held these box games uh, for the Nintendo. I traded um, some old Nintendo games that I had and some other stuff, including like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, a couple copies of Super Mario Bros. 2 with the manual, uh, Super Mar couple copies of Super Mario Bros. 3. Some good games. So um, I only got like 80 bucks in credit, but uh, yeah, I just... I, I had to have these, you know, you had to have it. Um, so first up, and they're all complete. We got 
Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It has uh, the game as well as the manual. Pretty nifty. Uh, Teenage Mutant Teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Also with the game and the manual. I paid seventeen fifty six for the first turtles. Um, nineteen dollars and ninety six cents for the second turtles that just slipped out and fell out, and then uh, forty three dollars and ninety six cents for a copy of Ghosts and Goblins boxed um, game and uh, manuals not in as good a shape as the turtles ones, but still it's there. So, not complaining about that. So, three more box NES games to add to the collection. Very happy. And then, perhaps the biggest heavy hitter of the whole thing. Um, there's a little bit of a story behind it. It had been processed, but the person had not said yay or nay on it. Like, go with the trade or don't go with the trade. Anyway, and they... They reduced the price severely on it because the di the label is damaged. About half, a uh, third of the label is damaged on this game, which um, is unfortunate. For ninety-seven dollars ninety-five cents, actually, I got it for a low, low price of seventy-eight dollars and thirty-six cents after my teacher discount. Castlevania Dracula X for the Super Nintendo. So at least it has the um, most of the label there, but uh, yeah, this game's like what a hundred and eighty dollar, two hundred dollar game. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to get more into all the Castlevania games. I remember playing like the original with my cousin years ago, and I haven't played too much of it. I played uh, a little bit on the N sixty four and a little bit on the. Uh, PS2, but um, yeah, I definitely want to try this one. I know I've heard it's really super hard, so uh, especially the final boss fight with Dracula, which has two phases, is like impossible or something. So uh, I'll probably get like through the first two or three levels, and then I'll be like, okay, at least I tried. <laughs> anyway, also uh, that that so that was really that's definitely the coolest find I think of the entire video. But uh, also, um, thank you to Jeff McKenzie for the package. Um, I'm really happy to add a dot .hack mutation to the, to the uh, PS2 collection. Very, very cool. So thank you, Jeff, for that. Um, I'm closing in on 250 subscribers, so I'm trying to get a package together. Uh, I'll probably do an announcement video sometime soon. Uh, but anyway... Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you later.